So um, I will be talking about the use of non-invasive brain stimulation in psychomotor slowing. Um, and I'm trying to get the spotlight, yeah. So, um, and um, I will cover the following topics tonight. Uh, we will talk briefly about the background um, of an psychomotor slowing um, and we will, sorry, uh, I will discuss the pathophysiology of psychomotor slowing, um, potential interventions that can be uh, tested. And then I will um, take most of the time to tell you about two trials that we have um, finished and published already and uh, outlook, also give an outlook on ongoing studies where we use transcranial magnetic stimulation to improve psychomotor slowing and other psychomotor symptoms in psychotic disorders. So, so psychomotor slowing in um, schizophrenia and depression is a very important clinical issue. Um, this is something that you that you can readily observe when patients enter your office. Uh, you, what we see typically is that they move slowly. So they, they walk slowly. They might have a decrease of the swing of their arms. Their step sizes in, uh, are uh, decreased. You can see slowing also in the faces by, use, by, by patients who don't have uh, a lot of facial expressions, which is called hypomemia. Um, but you can also see psychomotor slowing when you ask people to uh, write or draw things uh, or do certain tasks that they're very slow and they have problems executing that. This is typically associated with the disorder itself and can occur particularly in depression during the severe episodes. And then after the episode is over, typically the psychomotor slowing also is gone. Now, these symptoms are very important to, to see and to assess um, because they point to people who have a very poor clinical outcome, particularly in depression. So the subjects who have psychomotor slowing uh, typically respond worse to pharmacology or even psychotherapy, but they improve much, uh, much better when you, for instance, treat them with um, electroconvulsive treatment. And both in depression, also in schizophrenia, the, the existence of psychomotor slowing, the problem of psychomotor slowing is tightly coupled to poor functional outcome. What you can see here on the right um, in the scatter plot is data from an ongoing trial. Um, and you can see here the social and occupation functioning score, which is from zero to 100. 100 means perfect uh, functioning people have a job, have family, have friends, and um, a, a, let's say a, a very um, full and, 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 and rich uh, life. And uh, on the other score here, you can see the modified Salpeter retardation rating scale ranging here from zero to 20. And the higher the score here, the, the slower the patients are. So higher scores mean severe slowing. And what you can see easily here in that uh, number of subjects is the, the more we see psychomotor slowing, the more severe the psychomotor slowing is, the poorer is the social and occupational functioning. Meaning that if you're slow, you're probably going to have problems um, doing your household chores, uh, going to work, and also being a good uh, member of your family, for instance. Mm -hmm. 